Today I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, Google Doc directory to do project management and manage your lab reports. The thing is, is if you're in this business long enough, you will create so much documentation that you might lose track of it. So you actually have to document what you do, not just so other people can see <clears throat> and find what you've done, but so that you can go and find out and see what you've done. Before I hit upon this scheme, I, I would actually sometimes end up creating the same LT Spice file over and over again because it was faster than trying to find it. So anyway, this applies to project management and group project works. And in EE110L, you're going to do everything in Google Docs. So uh, create a new folder. Now, yeah, this could just be for your class, so but it can be for any class. For this one, we'll call it EE110 Lab, right? We just send it into there, and we're going to make some more folders. I like to put things into Spice. Um, oop, got ahead of myself. Um, oop, Python. Um, there's also, for the ADLM, there's these setup files that once you get your test set up uh, working, um, all you have to do is read it in and everything is set. Might not use that today, but I like to keep you know things like that in Scopy. Um, and then, you know, something called reports. All right, so, to send it into reports, and let's create a new Google Doc. Right, create and share. Now uh, I'm just going to check the share settings, and it probably I'll do that later. Maybe I should <laughs> name the file first. So I like to do the year. In this case, it's 2023. The day is, I mean, the month is January, and the day is 31. And what's the description? Sample report. OK. Um, now the thing is, is how many sample reports could there be? Well, maybe I better put in the class name. Right. And then, you know, who wrote it? Well, just as a reminder, I, I initiated this. I initiated this one, so I'll call it um, DWP. And then, yeah, I like to usually take not the date part, but, you know, what is what is the description? I'll cut and paste it. And I will make it a title. Right. And yeah, if you're going to turn this in, you know, put in your name, student ID. And if it's a group thing, right, put in all the student names. Right. Now, um, what I'm going to do is just set up some some things like abstract theory um, we call it methods results in discussion. Conclusions, yep, it's spelled wrong. And references. Okay. And I'm just going to put that on heading one. Okay. And I'm 
not going to complete that just yet, okay? But I want to talk about like putting something in to the theory section, which is really helpful, right? So a lot of times you need a schematic or something into the theory section, right? So what I want to do is go back here, right? I'm in reports, and now I come back up to Spice. And I'm going to upload a Spice file that I've been working on. File upload. And yeah, here's, here's a file. Um, that's the date it was created. It's the RC high pass filter uh, set up for the M2K with a uh, tau of one millisecond. All right. And then. I think I still have that one open. All right. So, actually, so I just F6 it, tools, copy bitmap. And I insert it. Right now, yeah, there's a lot of extra space here and it kind of centers it. That's why I like to use Snagit, but, and I'll just scale it a little bit. And then, you know, I'm going to give it a label, figure. I'm actually not going to give it a number yet, but um, we'll call it schematic of first order RC high pass filter with I can't the special symbols are hard for me to find that's tau equals one millisecond I'm going to just put the phrase link there okay so that's the theory I've just inserted this figure now what if you need to go back and edit it and you're trying to find it well, you might search for RC high pass filter and all of that, but really, this is what you want to do. Come back to the Spice directory, highlight it, get link, and right now anybody can view it because this isn't a public thing. Your, yours won't. Ultimately, you're going to want to give comment access to that Google Doc so your TA can grade your report. So I'm going to copy the link. Done. Control K and paste. And there. Now, let's say there's something wrong with this figure and I need to redo it. I can just go here. And it just gives you the text. But if you download it and open it up, there it is. Now, of course, if you make a change here, right you have to go back here and re-update it so i can um it'll be manage versions and i can upload a new version wherever i had it it might be actually in my downloads right right because you got to go back just have the discipline to go back and and do that. And I know it might seem like it's going to take you extra time, but it will save you time. Right? And yeah, you can uh, run the file, plot it out, you know, reshape it a little bit, tools, copy bitmap. Okay. And see, you just grab that and figure instead of a schematic it is the step response of a okay now why didn't i put the numbers yet wait till the report is done then go put in the numbers um while word has you know you can it'll keep track of your figures and things like that google docs there might be an add-in for it. 
but I try not I try to minimize the add-ins right so there's you're building up your report now if you let's say you're working on a group project all right so I uh, come back to here I go into reports now yeah what if this is a group thing okay well um, share it with editor access to all your teammates make sure you're using the uh, SJSC Google stuff all right for the TA and myself it add commenter because then we can make comments and then you can fix it all right then when the project gets kind of big well You can say who's going to do what so who right uh, or well, let's just say what someone's going to write the abstract somebody's going to write the theory someone's going to do um, results right who is responsible uh, Dave Kathy's my mom, um, and Frank is my brother. Okay, so Dave's going to do the abstract, Kathy's going to do the theory, and Frank will do the results. Now, right now, this is so small that you can see everything just by scrolling. But what is, is when it gets big, you want to go right to that section. So let's say I'm in charge of results. I'm going to click on results and see how the address changed up here. I'm going to click off of that. And now it's just regular edit. So then I just highlight that, control C, come back here. Um, I like just typing in the phrase link, double clicking the word link, control K. course that's the wrong one that's all right all right and then uh, you can even do status right um, sometimes it's like uh, where we are yeah that that's that's red um, green might be done and Yellow is in danger of not being done. I, you know, you come up with your own thing, all right? But this way, you can keep track of what everybody's doing, right? Whether you're online or whether you're face-to-face, -face, if it doesn't get written down, it's almost as if it didn't happen. Um, but I was able to use this with uh, Professor John Lee, who actually taught it to me, and we've written and won multi-million dollar grants using this technique, right? So in the end, it's, you know, doing reports isn't just doing a report for class. We're preparing you for industry because you do a lot of reports in industry. You work with a lot of teams. Um, and yeah, sometimes uh, let's say something is due Friday and you're really busy and you think you might forget. Well, go to Google Calendar, right? Um, I'll click here, you know, EE110L report is due. Now it doesn't need to be done, you know, for a whole half hour. This is just a reminder. So I can click more options, right? And just, you know, 8.15, great. But the thing is, is I would only do this if it was due like at nine o'clock that night. 
So I really don't want to be reminded that it's due a second from now and I don't have time to fix it. So come over here and email. Email me one day. So I get that email. I know I better work on it at that time. And yeah, maybe a quick notification in 10 minutes to like on Friday to make sure you submit it, right? So you can just save it and you can add all your teammates here, right? So that uh, we don't forget, right? I'm not going to save that because I don't have a report due on that time, okay? Um, there's a So I use this quite frequently. Um, I will go to one of my senior projects directory called projects. Probably not the best name. Uh, let's see. The QIF is a big project that I do. And... Here's the lab report, uh, the, the final report. It's rather big. So this report was done completely in the pandemic. Um, would have been nice to do things face to face. And what you're seeing is the result of doing it this way. The only thing is, is I didn't add the phrase link. Sometimes I would have it here or I had it in the directory. But then I realized we needed to have links. But because everything was properly documented, I was able, we were able to get something published after the students had graduated because the documentation was right. All right. Um, yeah, I don't have something that says link to find a certain picture or whatever, but um, you'll see LT Spice and Python and Like here's something, uh, this spike rate file in Python. Not only will it plot it out, but I save the data that it's plotting so that if anything should happen, I have that original file. All right. Um, the video is getting a little bit long. That's a thing for another day. But hopefully now follow the naming conventions using directories, Google Docs, making comments and cooperating, it, it shall make it a lot easier to be able to do really well uh, in 110 Lab and, and everything else. But it's really preparing you for your jobs. That's it.